I'm going to show you how to get started with Node-RED. Node-RED is a free um, logic engine that um, you can install within minutes. It's easy to install, easy to use, you don't have to be a programmer and you can do some cool stuff. So let's do a hello world basically. We'll do an inject. That's These are inputs by the way and then we'll do an output. We'll just go to the debug window. Debug window is right here. So we just wire these two together. Click deploy. And if we mash this button right here, it's going to inject a timestamp, it appears. I don't know, maybe that's a timestamp. All right, another thing we could do let's um, do a string. Let's do hello world done deploy and ta-da all right let's take a quick look around what we have are inputs the so inputs bring data in to node red there are outputs this is where it goes out there are functions which are kind of in between um, social and down here at the bottom I have installed a module called dashboard so Modules are really easy to install. So there was this module that's dashboard and it creates this cool dashboard where you can visually see stuff. So there are hundreds of different modules that connect Node-RED to all kinds of stuff. So um, please don't think this is simple. There are tons and tons of other things that you can do. All right, let's continue. I want a cooler output. Let's do email. So we'll send hello world to an email. Um, and it kind of gets me started here. Who am I going to send it to? I'm going to send it to me. Um, um, if I want to send it using Gmail, I just enter my Gmail user ID and password here. So I'm actually not going to show you my user IDs and passwords. All right. I put my credentials in there and the to address. So I'm going to deploy. And I'm going to hit the button. It says it sent it. We didn't get an e uh, an error. Oh. While we wait, let's see what else cool things can we do. Let's do some dashboard stuff. So I want a button. So I want to have a button send a hello world. So see what happens when we click this button. Uh, here's the payload. Let's call it button go. I need to add a UI group. Uh, it basically groups things together on the UI. So I'm just going to do add oh, tab. Yeah, okay. So there's a tab. So there's the button. Now let's go ahead and send this to email as well. Deploy. There's button go. I'm going to hit button. Come back. I guess it doesn't. Oh, it's not wired to a debug. I'm going to wire this to a debug. Deploy. By the way, they're coming through nicely. Hey, okay, let's do some cool things with MQTT. MQTT is a cool protocol that I like to use for my microcontrollers things like uh, arduinos and raspberry pis can communicate with it so i'm going to go ahead and set up my broker i need to add this new connection here it's going to be the ip address of the broker it could be a uh, local host but whatever and we're going to auto generate the client id i actually do have <laughs> authentication to get into my MQTT broker so and we need a topic I'm gonna do launch pad quality of service can be zero so now let's just do 
debug this thing real quick. I'm going to deploy. And I have this thing. I'm going to push a button. And this comes through. Hang on, let me switch cameras. So this is a Texas Instruments launch pad, TM4C123. It's got Wi-Fi on it. I'm using a battery pack just to prove that. So watch over here. This is a pretty cool demo. I push the button, green, and then red. So red's high, red's low. Add some more UI elements here. Let's do text. Let's do a text out blocks. So anything on that launch pad topic goes out there. Deploy. So let's reload this. And I'm going to push this button over here. You'll see it's feeding this, this data here. Let's go back here. I also found over here there's a tab for dashboard. I can change this to be dark. I like the dark a lot better. Um, deploy. There we go. I'm going to add two more buttons here. One's going to be red LED high. This is just the name of the thing in my um, launch pad. I could have named it anything, but. And then this one's red off. Payload is red LED low. So these need to go out to MQTT. So I'm going to set this up again. We'll go ahead and debug them too. We'll make this read a little better here. That's our debug. So we're going out to the same topic. Um, that's it. Deploy. Let's go to our dashboard. So red, red goes on, red goes off. Switching cameras. Actually, to be cool, I'm going to go ahead and open this web browser on my phone. Little IP address. So I'm going to push the button here. Ridiculously fast. And go red on, red off. Here's an example of what I do with it here at home. This is my home automation stuff. There's a weather underground module where it goes out and gets data and I can put those into little things. There's even a chart. Of course there's buttons, open and close the garage door, ring the doorbell, and everything else that I can add later. Here's the weather underground stuff. Um, those buttons that you saw on the screen, the doorbell, and then here's a test and you can actually get flows so here's a flow hey it was built by me and what it's supposed to do is if you throw this in there it can check what the IP address is whenever you reboot and then it can I don't know email it to you or something so you can copy a flow go back in and we're gonna just add a tab we're gonna import from the clipboard bam so this thing is gonna supposedly get our IP address of the Raspberry Pi here's a function to <laughs> extract the uh, IP address and put it into some format it's going to wait for five seconds then it's going to go to test and then it's going to go to email i'm going to put in my email address and we'll see if this thing works so we go ahead and deploy wait 10 seconds and there it is this is supposedly the message that it sent we go over here this um there it is, there's the IP address. 
by the way this flow is getting ethernet zero so um you need to plug in the an ethernet cable if you're on wi-fi it doesn't quite work but maybe that'll give you a challenge to edit so that's kind of a cool start to node red you have some fun thanks if you don't mind like and share and i've got a lot of other videos uh, especially on mqtt